Hey Just woke up. Normie. <laughs> Welcome to this month's gardening collaboration. I list the link I link all the channels below that are involved. Um Maria from the Rich and Simple Living's already got hers out. And I'm hoping she's gonna be watching this so to advice. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to show you down the allotment because it's pretty much the same other than we've had loads of strawberries. I made some jam and that went down well. And I tried to make some of that fruit leather. I ain't got a dehydrator so he said put it in the oven for like five hours on the lowest setting. So I did and it, it didn't work. <laughs> I don't know if I did it too thick or what, it didn't work. But we've had loads of strawberries. I had a letter from the allotment committee about weeds. If you're on my Patreon, you already know this. So you might want to skip forward. <laughs> about weeds. And saying my plot wasn't in 75% production. And I was like, it is in 75% production. Things just haven't come up yet. And they were like, oh no, no, it's more about the weeds. And then I found out that... Um, it wasn't him who sent the letter or the chairman that that were behind the letter. It was this man who goes to playgroup. He's one of the dads at playgroup. He's on the committee. And I says, I didn't know you was on the committee. I, did, I didn't know you, you had a plot. And he says, I haven't got a plot. But I really want a plot. And I'm thinking, why are you on the committee if you've not got a plot? But anyway, I says, oh, well, I've just had a letter about weeds. He says, oh, yes, that was me. And I was in a bad mood. So I just said, that's a bit under, underhand, isn't it? You want a plot, but you can't get a plot, so you go on the committee and start sending annoying letters to people who have got plots. Yeah. I've sat been on that plot 11 years, let ring and get me off. So anyway, I'll show you what's in the garden. I'm not, I'm not filming down in that one. It looks, the same, it looks the same, except there's been loads of straw, loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of strawberries. Everything else is coming up, but really slow. Everything's just slow this year. Um, right, I'll get to the thing. I'll get to the thing. Right, hang on. On my Patreon, I just got rid of that council woman. Well, well the council who wants to keep coming doing house inspections. And I was like, right, on to the next problem. Like, joking. But here's the next problem. Our chicken coop's got mites. We've never, we've never had mites before. We've had the chickens about three years. We've never had mites. Anyway, um, I completely gutted the chicken ass and sprayed it out with an entire bottle of this Smite stuff, which comes highly recommended. And then we dusted the girls down with um, this, I can't say it, diatomitis earth. And then we sprayed the chicken ass again. Anyway, we've still not got rid of the bloody things. The girls aren't firking as much as they were, so I think the dirt to my surface is keeping them off them. But the chicken house is riddled with it. So I'm going to... I put some of that on the floor as well, under the bedding. So... See, this is what worries me. When I was looking it up last night, they said you've got to be careful of all the little nooks and crannies. Well, this chicken house is covered in nooks and, cranny, uh, nooks and crannies. I mean, you can see from the side, look. And, and the, the light that, so the rain just drips off it. But how am I supposed to get into there when it's pointing downwards? I can't spray upwards. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, got, I'm, I'm boiling a kettle. I'm just going to blast it while they're out. That's why the girls are out. I'm going to blast it all with boiling water while the baby's not up. And then I'm just going to go through the cycle again of gutting it, spraying it, dusting the girls. But I'm a bit worried because, so ignore them pot noodle pots, my toddler keeps chucking them in the run. Um, I'm, I'm a bit worried because this house cost a lot of money because we had my husband's brother make it. I know it's three years old, but it did cost a lot of money. And I was speaking to a farmer friend last night, and she said, the only thing I can say, she says, is gut it, wash it out with Jay's outdoor disinfectant, so I'm going to order some of that. She said, but the one and only time we had mites, we couldn't get rid of them. We had to burn the chicken ass down and start again. So I'm panicking a little bit. Plus, I read last night that if, if they uh, if they had mites for too long, it can make the chickens anemic, which makes them more susceptible to infection and they can die. 
So um, I'm going to cook them up some broccoli later, or just chuck them some broccoli later, because that's high in iron, isn't it, to help. So yeah, it's get rid of one problem, another problem. This is outside. There's, I had loads of flowers on that courgette plant, and it chucked it down and knocked all the flowers off. But at least mine is still alive. My mums are all dead. <laughs> peas, peas, glorious peas. And then in the middle, Golden Virginia. But like I say, it's nowhere near as big as it was last year. That one's peas and pumpkins that look dead. That one's peas and lettuces. I'm doing quite well with lettuces because I've already ripped the tops off them to where I snap them. They've grown back. If the camera ever focuses. Look at pink. She's just woke up. Look, these, they're courgettes as well, I think. And beetroot. So, yeah, everything's slow this year. Now we've got chicken mites. It's all amazing. <laughs> If you want to take part in the gardening collab, just let us know. We're a very friendly bunch. And we're quite understanding if you can't do it every single month. Yeah, Maria, if you're watching, tell me what to do about these bloody chicken mice. Mwah! <laughs>